In this video, we're going to be recapping my current in real life street photography setup, like a roundup of everything we covered in the other videos. So I do recommend that you watch those because I'm not going to go into specifics. This is more about the order of what you should open first after you've done all those other things. Let's begin by opening up our three primary desktop applications. We'll start with OBS, then Streamerbot. Next up, we're going to open up Loopy SRT. And as you can see, it has changed to the webcam scene. It's just waiting for the signal from our phone, Larix Broadcaster, to start transmitting. We are also going to check that we're not in bed with test mode. And in this case, I will be, because I don't actually want to go live to Twitch. Uncheck it, and then we will be good to start streaming when we're ready. But I'm going to leave it on for this test. So we're going to click OK. Next up, we're going to put on the gear, like I mentioned in the very first video of this series. Now start off with the microphone. We're going to pop on our chest mount. From there, just going to grab my two phones. Make sure everything is charged. Your secondary phone, your main phone, which you're going to be streaming from. In my case, iPhone, that has a SIM card in it. And then we have the secondary phone, no SIM card. Uh, that one is Android backup battery for charging your streaming phone and also when you need battery life for this. Currently my longest IRL stream is six hours and um, I was down to about two notches on the uh, on the battery for this one. So yeah this served me well. Now that we've got our chest mount on we are going to grab our dongle and that has the power cable and also the microphone connected to it. If you're wondering what's happening here I did break the dongle, pulled out the power cord a little too quickly, and uh, well, I've got a rubber band on me holding the power cable in place until I'm able to get a replacement. We're going to connect our backup battery, and then you want to make sure you're using the correct port, whatever will give you fast charging. Double check your battery every now and again, because with my one at least, I'll have a look, and for some reason, it's not powering my phone. I'm going to pop the iPhone into the cradle and check that that is secure, it is good. Then we're gonna plug in the dongle for power and good audio. So that's charging. Make sure everything's secure, everything's in place. Then we've got our secondary phone, uh, which you'll put on yourself, maybe in your pocket. What I like about this Bluetooth headset, and I didn't mention it in the other video, is that if I'm talking to someone, maybe someone asks me a question, and I can't quite hear what they're saying because I got this in my ear, then I can just pull it out and say, oh, sorry, can you repeat that, please? Oh, okay, I got it now. I understand. You can have your chat, and then you can pop it back in. This is where I will just make sure all my apps are open. There have been times where I've forgotten to open up Loopy. If your mobile connection does go down, your webcam scene will go blank, and then nothing until you reconnect again. Have a look, little check first. One, two, three apps. Okay, we're good to go. And that's where I would then leave the house assured that everything's going to be fine. Let's pretend for now we're going to act as if I'm somewhere else. We're not here in office. Well, when I've left the house, I will want to then turn on hotspot or tethering from the streaming phone, in my case, the iPhone, so that I can have an internet connection for this one. You're going to turn on hotspot. Then on the second phone, we're going to connect to it via Wi-Fi. And then I will connect my headset. I'm going to turn on IRL chat. Make sure we're connected through this phone. I'll just show you we're now connected you might also want to put through any like uh, messages social messages that you want to send out now before you actually start streaming for example if you want to send a tweet out do a selfie photo that kind of things before i start i'm going to turn off the wi-fi on my phone because i'm currently connected to wi-fi and my mobile it's going to get very confused when you're away from your home your wi-fi won't be connected anyway so that's something you don't have to do I'm going to swipe up and then I'm going to go into Larix Broadcaster. Make sure that we're connected to the mobile connection, the one that we set up. Got the second one for local, you want to make sure that's turned off. Just the mobile one, but we are not yet streaming to Twitch yet. So that's where our command will come in. I'm going to send that through. And then as you can see, it is now streaming to Twitch. Now I do want to check make sure that this isn't actually live. So that's very important. We do not want that to happen. All right, we'll close this. 
And this is where you'd want something playing on your starting soon screen. You could have a looping video, something there to keep everyone company. And then when you're ready, that's where you'll just press this button, the big gray button there to start streaming, which you'll see in a second. We should see it switch over. So the connection is working. I can see that's all good to go. Loopy is also saying, yes, the connection is good. We are fine. If I was to press this big red button here, we'll pretend that is a disconnect problem. Loopy should recognize that something has gone wrong and then they'll automatically switch OBS to our VRV scene. I'm just gonna press the gray button and then that should resume. If you need a pause, all you have to do is long press the big red button here and then that'll go into pause mode. What I love about this is the audio is muted, you can't hear anything, everything is private. If you need to go for a bathroom break or whatever, having a private discussion with someone really quick, that's where you could go to pause mode. If you're gonna be longer, maybe 10, 15 minutes, something like that, that's where you probably wanna just switch this off and switch it back on again. So we'll just press and hold the pause button again, and now we're back to uh, streaming. If you need to adjust the volume, you can long press the microphone button here. Our microphone volume is at minus nine decibels. So we can see if it's too loud, if it's clipping, that kind of thing, we can adjust it here. There's only so much you can do while you're actively streaming. If you need to go into the settings, that's where you'll have to stop the stream, go into BRB mode, jump into those settings and then make some changes. Keep in mind that your connection from your phone to your main computer in the office, that uh, there's gonna be a delay. So I always wait about five to 10 seconds. Well, I suppose the only other thing that I, I haven't covered before, and that is how to raid. There's a couple of browser links that I've saved to the home screen of my Android phone. And one of those is the Twitch Quick Actions. This will bring up a list of all the people that you follow that are currently live. Finally, I suppose the last thing we will cover is how to end the stream. Make sure you've rated. I'll do a final wrap up because you'll have people who are watching your VOD later on. So I'll type in ending soon. Now with this setup, you'll want to wait 10 seconds before you put through the command. So I'll just smile, look at the camera and smile. Then put in the command. As you can see, it has ended. We're going to stop Larix Broadcaster, press the big red button. Uh, Loopy is still going. I can't tell the difference between whether I'm streaming or not. Uh, it's going to switch to BRB, but because we've already ended the stream, no one can see this part of it. That, my friends, that's everything step by step what I do when I do an IRL stream. There is quite a lot to it. As you can see, a lot of moving parts. Maybe one day someone's going to simplify this, so it's just maybe one mobile app that streams via HEF, SRT. We've got disconnect protection on a remote cloud service somewhere. It's affordable, which is the main one. And then you have alerts, you've got channel point redemptions. As for now, any questions at all, let me know in, in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Catch you later.